Okay, people, when I think of cozy, comforting recipes from my childhood, my brain automatically goes right to my mom's tuna casserole. It is so cozy, so comforting, so flippin' delicious. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a totally plant-based and gluten-free and high-protein version of a tuna casserole. It is dump and bake, it's so simple, requires not very many ingredients, does not take a lot of time, and you'll have an awesome weeknight family dinner on the table in an hour, or this makes for a great addition to your weekly meal prep. And if dump and bake casseroles are your go-to, make sure you watch my latest dump and bake casserole casseroles video. There's three recipes in there like broccoli and chickpea casserole. You can watch it right up here. And let's get right into this totally awesome vegan tuna casserole recipe. Okay, people, this vegan tuna casserole is the real deal, made with lots of healthy, whole food, plant-based ingredients. So let's start by making our cooking liquid, which is just some canned coconut milk with a little bit of mushroom broth or veggie broth, whatever you have works. And then for lots of extra flavor, we're gonna add some salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. We want things to taste really good. And then we're gonna add some miso paste and some vegan butter. This is gonna add creaminess and velvety smoothness and lots of savory umami. Meanness. Yes, I just made up a word. Give that all a good stir, simmer it on the stove for about 10 minutes so that it's hot and the coconut milk and butter have melted together. And then we're gonna quickly move on to our meaty filling. So we're gonna pulse in a blender some canned young jackfruit and nori sheets. The nori sheets are gonna add the most delicious kind of oceany essence to the jackfruit while shredding the jackfruit to look a lot like meat or canned tuna, which is kind of the goal here. And then into the casserole dish that we'll be using, we're gonna add some plant-based protein in the form of chickpeas and frozen peas and carrots. Now, if you want to add extra protein, you could also swap out the frozen peas and carrots for edamame. That'll add a lot of extra plant-based protein. Then we're going to toss in the shredded jackfruit. We're going to mix that all together and we're going to pour over or sprinkle over the rice. You can use brown rice. This is what I'm using. Or you can use white jasmine rice. Pour the liquid on top. We're going to press down the rice underneath the cooking liquid so that it cooks properly and that none of it burns burns or gets too crunchy. And now we're just gonna simply cover the casserole dish with some foil. We're gonna pop that in the oven, bake it for an hour at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can just walk away, let the magic happen, and it's gonna come out looking something like this, you guys. Does that not look totally legit? This is giving me so many childhood memories. This looks exactly like how my mom used to make it. This is so delicious. There's so much flavor, and it really does taste very fishy and oceany. And the, the jackfruit texture is on point. It's very, very fishy feeling and the chickpeas add substance and protein and a lot of great texture and flavor. And overall, this is just so good. It's so cozy and comforting. Great if you like to meal prep. Makes for awesome quick weeknight lunches or dinners. And yeah, the whole family is going to love this. Mmm. 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 That is what I'm talking about. Ugh. If you guys like easy, vegan, gluten-free, and high-protein recipes, let's be besties. Subscribe below, and I'll smell you later.